Sophia here from agreatchallenge.blogspot.com. I am going to set up my 2016 planner and in order for me to do that this year I'm doing something completely different. I didn't want to create my new inserts. I just don't have the time for this. So what I did is that I purchased a plum paper planner. You can find those on uh, Etsy shop or on their own websites. All the links are down below by the way. And this one actually I customized to the stuff that I needed. However, I do not want a bound, coil bound planner. I want to use my Franklin Covey classic size. This is the Boston. I've had it for many, many years. Right now there's not much in it because I removed already all of the inserts that I used for 2015. So what I'm going to do today is uncoil this planner, resize it, punch it and insert it in my Franklin Covey classic. So just a little bit on the plum paper planner. Uh, first of all, I did order it uncoiled. I am specifically asked for it to not be uh, punched and coiled and they said they would do it and it took about five and a half weeks to receive this one and of course they sent it to me coiled. So um, it kind of gives me a little bit more work but I'll make it um, work for me. So if you don't know about these planners and again check out the website you can customize them obviously you can change the cover there's tons tons of design you can put pictures logos initials I put my name there and so mine is from January to December I just wanted the year but when you order them you can ask for whichever month you want to start so if you're ordering yours uh, in January you can ask for it to start in February or March personally because it takes five and a half weeks I would order it in in January and I would start it in March that's the way I am only because I don't want to have a bunch of weeks that are empty and there's nothing in them so mine of course I ordered it in November so I got um, it on time for January start it goes from January to uh, December and again I'll go through those inserts in more detail when I get to have it inside my Franklin Covey uh, planner but the other two inserts that I asked for are the fitness planner which is this one right here and I'll show that to you uh, later on and then the other one is a budget category and then you can add whatever you want at the end of each month as well so for the end of each month I have monthly cleaning schedules and then I have to-do lists and I added uh, some extra note paper the paper quality is outstanding it's such a beautiful paper nothing bleeds through I'm using sharpies right now on um, the fine points and they just do not bleed you see that there's nothing there anyway I'm going to uncoil this of course it's going to be on fast uh, forward and then I'll size it and punch it I'll have to figure out what size but right now let's start with the uncoiling so I have a pair of pliers I've never done that before I'm hoping this is going to work I'm just going to grab the end of it right here and pretty much straighten it so that I can uncoil the entire binder here without this thing scratching the paper or getting caught in the hole so you gotta start with this being really really straight uncoil it um hmm this is not happening very well for me so let me see something if I cut them uh, I would have to get a, a specific kind of uh, cutter so um, I'm having difficulty uncoiling this thing I've seen other people do it I'm not sure why I'm not able to do the exact same thing doesn't look like it would be something very complicated to do so what I'm gonna do is go in my garage and I'm gonna get a pair of serious um, barbed wire cutters and I'm just gonna cut along like this and just remove all of those pieces of wire that are binding my planner together Right, 
it's done and to be honest it was kind of hard so I've seen people be able to uncoil them um, I don't know why I wasn't able to do it maybe I wasn't doing it the right way but the bottom line is that if you cut them like I did you have to have the right tools it works just fine so now here's my classic size Franklin Covey and what I need to do is see how much of an overhang I'm going to be willing to accept now this is the ones that I had before in terms of my dividers and if you haven't seen the video for my 2015 setup um, the link is down below you may want to check that out so these are the um, dividers that I had last year I believe they were from either the snap or um, recollection company so I'm going to reuse some of them like the cube wrench right here uh, and probably uh, the note part and I'm definitely going to reuse these here that I had created last year this and that so what I want to do right now is see what size of an overhang I'm willing to accept having so when I closed my planner last year um, that's pretty much how they were. This might be a little bit too much because this is plastic, but those are pretty much paper with just a little bit of a, um, what do you call it, a plastic piece on it. So I don't think they're going to be able to sustain as much uh, shift and moving than these. So I'm probably going to take one of those and my dividers will be cut to a size tiny bit smaller than the ones that I had last year so I'm not going to use the cover for now but let's just do and I'm going to make sure I don't mess up the pages so if I go like this right I'm okay with the extra space here at the bottom and the extra space here on the top because basically my planner is going to accommodate that by having extra space um, by having extra space here so that's okay if they are too tall but I don't want them to be too wide so if I cut them here right they are going to be a little bit too big so I want to do them probably here and I'll cut um, I'll gain about that much space I don't know if you can see I'm not sure if I explained this right so if I cut them right after where the original uh, spiral binding was then I can punch them and I should be alright let me see mm -hmm. yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut them a little bit further than the spiral bond I'm gonna say probably two eighths uh, of an inch right here extra so I got my guillotine and I'm just going to start cutting all of this and fit it in my planner as I cut because the last thing I want is get pages all over the place so here's the planner I'm going to remove everything that I had from last year I can reinsert as I need later on but for now I'm just going to start cutting these go it's all inside my Boston and it is stuffed I don't have room for anything else which is kind of the way I wanted it anyway because I have a tendency to put a lot of extra stuff I may remove a couple of months just to have extra space I don't know yet but 
I resized this. Of course, now I got, you know, double the hole, so I can just put washi tape at a later time. And I can also change the cover if I wanted to. Um, it overhangs just a tiny bit, but that's only because of the size of the rings. These are 1.25. If I was using my other binder, my Franklin Quest, which doesn't, um, doesn't have a buckle, by the way, it probably would fit much better because it's a bigger binder and it's almost uh, two inches ring. So yeah, for big rings. But anyway, this is what it looks like for now. And of course you get from all the months and I'll do a, um, you know, big setup and flip through video at a later time. But I got all my months in there. And then at the end, I have my fitness and my um, budget section. I also managed to get the back cover in it, which I can use as the uh, dashboard if I wanted to. And this is the for keeps um, pocket. I don't think I'm going to keep that because I do have pockets here anyway. And a secretarial pocket in the front, a pocket here and a pocket over there. So this is a Boston. Um, they don't make it anymore, at least not in that color. I think you can find it in black steel in classic size on the website. And then they still have some of the uh, compact size. I have a compact in blue for this one. I love the Boston. It needs to be cleaned, you can tell. I've been using it for quite some time. I think I've had it for almost two years now. And I never really considered purchasing another binder after this one. I do have to stretch a little bit here to close it but that's all right so now I just got to figure out what am I going to remove that really takes some bulk this is pretty heavy but this is the way I want it I wanted to have access to all of my month I really don't want to have to remove a lot out of it maybe I'll just remove um, again this section here in the back I'm gonna do that right now actually because I really don't need the holiday planning for next year. I don't need the passwords that go somewhere else. The monthly budget, I don't need the 12 uh, sheets. So what I'm probably going to do is take most of them, uh, probably 10 months out of the year, and just insert them in this pocket right here for later on. And that's pretty much what I did. I removed this, which I'm not going to use at all. And I removed most of my budget pages and put them in here so I can access them at a little time. Otherwise, this is working great for me. Now, now the month, as you can see, the holes are um, not getting into the boxes, but you do have some areas, like for instance, if I go at the um, to-do list, it does kind of, you know, get in the way of the little uh, bullets and check boxes. And one else gets affected by having the um, hole sponge, not much. To be honest uh, on the weekly this is what it looks like I'm give you a close-up and on the weekly uh, the way I did it um, you know if you follow the way I've cut them it does um, eat a little bit right here and on this side nothing you can't handle really because most of the time I write on this side here and then over here I'll just push my writing a little bit on this side anyway Otherwise, this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to have my plum paper planner inside my Franklin Covey and it worked. At least for me, it works. So now I'm still undecided as to whether or not I want to remove some sections and some month just to give me more room to add stuff. But quite frankly, I think I may not do that at all. So this was Sophia from my great challenge.blogspot.com. Uh, for those of you who are planner addicts and didn't know whether or not you can put a plum paper planner in a Franklin Covey Classic, well, you got the answer. You can do it. You would have some overhang uh, like I have here. If you can deal with it, that's fine. Personally, I think it protects the planner itself to have it inside a cover like this. Um, because I had this on the counter for about a week and already had some stains on the front and on the back. Now, because it's a um, glossy type finish, I was able to um, remove it. They are very similar to the Erin Condren. Um, so if you have an Erin Condren, you can probably do the same thing as well. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to do a full setup and flip through video in the next month or so, just to show you how I actually am using this planner. You can tell I've already started more some stuff. What I really like about the setup here is that when you get to the monthly divider, like for January or um, February, any other month, I'm going to show you something where I didn't write anything. You have the March, for instance, is this lavender color. You have goal one, goal two, goal three right here. And then you can put birthdays and events and things to remember. And then you have your notes that start here if you want to put some 
um, specific information about a doctor's appointment and address, whatever. The month goes this way. You can customize on the website how you want to have your weeks. You can have them separated. Um, they are vertical, but you can have them horizontal as well. And you can have them separated with morning, afternoon, or evening. Or you can do them where it's a family planner, where you can have a section like this for each family member. So let's say there would be a Sophia section going this way across the week. Same thing for a Scott section, a William section, an Edward section, a YouTube section. I prefer to keep it as simple as possible because this is really going to be nothing more but a bullet list or a, a to-do list for myself throughout the day and then if I want to add something specific about an appointment I can put a sticky note or I can put it right here at the end of each month you have a note paper what I do with the note paper I'm going to show you what I started in January is that I keep track to everything that has been going on in the month so day by day it's kind of like a two three sentences per day as a journal so I have something that I can reference back um, and then, of course, I showed you the other ones, which is the to-do list and the monthly cleaning, but you don't have to add those. Those I've added as a custom um, design for the planner, and you can order it. There's way more sections that you can order for your planner. There's uh, teacher stuff. There's... Uh, um, house cleaning section mine again i only picked the uh, fitness and the budget now the fitness has your main fitness goal on the front page and then each month you're going to have every single one of the weeks divided with the little scale so you can um weigh yourself there is a monthly goal month fitness plan highs and lows rewards this is your measurement little tiny box here for notes and on this side you have your hydrate or water intake here and then this is one to 31 days where you can log in exercise or activities i'm probably going to use that for other purposes um but otherwise this is really really neat and then at the end of course and i messed it up already there is a chart where you can graph your weight loss um I tried to write some stuff here, then work out. I put some white idea and work out. So obviously I'm gonna to have to put some kind of washi tape here to cover this and do a different banner for this section. So quick update, I switched. I switched to a old uh, Franklin Quest that Tracy had sent me. This is full leather and it's got big ring. The rings are almost two inches. You see the difference? There is no overhang, almost none. The overhang is a little bit shorter. The strap is bigger, so I don't have to stretch it. I can close it. And I still have, hold on, because I have these little plastic thingy here that are kind of getting in the way. I still have space um, to put more stuff. So I was able to put all of my budget back in. And then I like this better. Uh, to be honest, this is not the most glamorous planner in the world. It's kind of a boring black. But if I put a strap here, an elastic strap or some decorative items or whatever and I start decorating this portion here and the same thing in the back I'm going to make it my own and it's going to be a much easier planner for me to work with um I like the Boston a lot it has been my favorite planner for a long time but with the plum paper planner inside of it it was really stuff and I know I know I'm going to add stuff to it I know I'm going to add sections I know I'm going to have papers and and whatnot that are going to be hanging around now I got to figure out why this particular one right here will not let me close the planner hmm, I may have to do a uh, new lift um tabs yeah this one is problematic either I have to redo the holes or I have to do better slits I don't know so anyway, I really like it. Uh, it is a little bit heavy. It's a little bit bulky, but I like the fact that I can add items to it. So I'm going to clean the cover because there's some, um, you know, little scratches and whatnot on it. And then I have to train this to stay uh, flat because I don't want this in the way. So I have to probably leave it like that for quite some time and bend it backward and see how that works. So, yep, this is what it looks like in a Franklin Quest. If you have one or if you have a big Franklin Covey planner, um, you can use the um, plum paper inserts and this is what they will look like. So I'm very happy. What I'm probably going to have to do is round those corners here because they do get caught in that little 
um, you know, tab thing that you used to open the rings with. So now all I got to do is pretty much decorate and make it my own. Add all the information that I need to add into it. Start my budgeting, my fitness tracker, and put a bunch of sticky notes or whatnot in here. I may remove this here. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it or, you know, decorate it or whatever. I like that there's a zip. I can put some paper clips or whatnot in there. And then in the back of it, it has um, those two pockets. So I can put bills and other papers that I may need in there. Okay. So there you have it. This is the plum paper design planner and whether or not it fits in a Franklin Covey um, classic and it does it might get bulky but it does so all you have to do is uncoil and punch new holes and that's about it okay give me a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you knew make sure to subscribe if you want to see how i'm going to transform this into a more personalized planner because it's a little too masculine for me right now and i guess i'll see you later bye